The goal of the presentation is to provide you with a perspective of how best practice IT governance will be deployed at the Joint Service Provider, JSP. Ideas are generated by JSP clients and stakeholders which can include the JSP parent organization, or one of the many other organizations operating out of the Pentagon, the immediate National Capital Region, Hampton Roads, and a few other locations. A client can also be one of the JSP internal work centers, such as cybersecurity, storage, compute, transport, engineering, or governance. For this presentation, we see each of these entities is expressing a need or idea, and often a proposed solution, to one of the four collection points including portfolio management, capital planning, customer engagement, and transport. At the other end of the life cycle are four governance gates, pre-invest, pre-acquire, pre-deploy, and operations. All governance gates are managed by the Information Technology Governance Board, ITG. Pre-invest focuses on the initial request submitted through one of the four collectors. Pre-invest determines whether the request is warranted, supportable, affordable, and risk-contained. The ITG is provided the original request, functional requirements, several tailored courses of action, and an analysis of alternatives. Pre-acquire reviews the matured requirements for resources, people, technology, licenses, etc. The ITG is provided the results of a structured analysis of the acquisition approach to determine whether the approach is actionable, consistent with the initial pre-invest gate approval, and whether all impacted work centers can support the construction, hardening, testing and ultimate graduation into production. Pre-deploy reviews requests that have fully matured and are ready for graduation from testing and staging into full production. The ITG is provided a summary review of the engineering implementation plan, solution design document, draft system accreditation package, communication plan, and more. The goal is to ensure all work centers have reserved the capacity necessary to support deployment into the JSP production network and that everything required to manage the transition of responsibility of the system from engineering to operations has been satisfied. Operations includes the Engineering and Configuration Review Board, ECRB, Change Advisory Board, CAB, and ultimately the Release Management Board, RMB. Each is responsible for the review of change requests associated with the incremental implementation and adaptation of systems. At the intersection of ideas and ITG decision gates, we find requirements analysis and solution design. Collectively, our goal is to increase the quality and traceability of investment selection, acquisition, and deployment decisions. Allow me to walk you through an example of how the IT governance lifecycle works. In this example, a client submits a requirement to customer engagement. The requirement is then forwarded to requirements analysis for development of the functional requirements. The requirements analysis team then forwards the request to the design team, called the TRG, for development of the courses of action and the analysis of alternatives. If the client agrees with the functional requirements, courses of action, and the analysis of alternatives the request is then forwarded to the ITG for a pre-invest review. The challenge faced by JSP that led to the development of requirements analysis, solution design, TRG, and the ITG is the need to increase the quality of requirements submitted by clients. Typically, JSP decision makers are presented a wall of words documented in a business requirements document, BRD, or similar request that is hard to interpret and often must be sent out for technical analysis before a decision can be made. The requirements analysis team applies a focused approach to filtering out unnecessary information to illuminate the core request, constraints, conditions, and success criteria. The result of the initial RA review is a list of questions, data call, to be answered by the client and their business and technical experts ahead of the development of courses of action by the TRG. The data call is extended by members of the JSP cybersecurity team as they activate step one of their process in which they seek to gather a definition of the system, the type of data it will process, and any interfaces that may be employed. Cybersecurity leverages the answers to their questions in determining the system's risk categorization. In the analysis phase, requirements analysis and cybersecurity attach the data call to the work order which is then shared with the customer engagement to determine whether an interview session with the client and their experts is required. If an interview is required, customer engagement, requirements analysis, 
and cybersecurity work with the client and their experts to complete the data call. Once completed the initial request and data call results are forwarded to the TRG. Requirements analysis transforms the wall of words into a structured narrative that details each of the obvious and inferred success criteria used by the TRG to identify and model courses of action. The TRG validates courses of action against all requirements while illuminating gaps that may exist. In this way, the client is well positioned to understand how each course of action will support their needs, and those places where a compromise or recalibration of their requirements may be required. The National Institutes of Standards and Technology Special Publication 800-60 assists cybersecurity professionals in employing a structured approach to gathering and analyzing information required to categorize the confidentiality, integrity, and availability status of each system seeking an authorization to operate on a DoD enterprise network. Part of that categorization includes identifying the type and criticality of information that will be processed by each system. We propose the system categorization interview by cybersecurity occur concurrent with the requirements analysis interview as the individuals with answers to data call regarding requirements are likely the same individuals with answers to questions about the type of data that will be hosted on the proposed system. The Privacy Impact Assessment, PIA, is similar to the National Institutes of Standard and Technology SP 800-60 System Categorization Review in that it seeks to identify the type of information that will be processed by a system. The outcome of a PIA differs as the results may require the system owner to publish a System of Record Notification, SORN, detailing whether a system owner must publish the existence of a system, how privacy and health record information is collected, analyzed, published, and can affect federal benefits. The TRG is an assembly of a cross-section of senior government and contract technical experts charged with leveraging the original request and the artifacts created by requirements analysis and cybersecurity to identify and evaluate potential courses of action, COA, that could be employed to deliver client-requested systems and capabilities. All of the courses of action are summarized in an analysis of alternatives, OA, that compares and contrasts each option to the requirements and identified risk. The original request, courses of action, and analysis of alternatives are forwarded back to the sponsor, in this case, the customer engagement, for joint presentation of the results to the client. The goal of the presentation of the COA and OA to the client is to ensure the requirements, courses of action, and analysis of alternatives are consistent with the client's articulation of the challenge they seek to resolve, and that the courses of action are viable solutions. If the client approves of the updated request package, the package is then forwarded to the ITG. The weekly meeting of the ITG reviews pre-investment, pre-acquire, and pre-deploy requests. In the scenario we are using today the original request, courses of action, analysis of alternatives, the privacy impact assessment, and the system categorization documents would be assembled into a package for review by the ITG. The goal of the ITG is to determine whether JSP can and will support fully executing one of the courses of action approved by the client. The ITG can accept, reject, or defer a request. A request that is accepted is forwarded to project control. A request that is deferred is scheduled for review at a future ITG meeting. A request that is rejected is returned to the client and sponsor for updates or cancellation. The Requirements Analysis, TRG, ITG governance approach is an orchestration of a variety of risk control activities detailed in DOD guidance and industry best practices. While seemingly complex, The approach represents a tailored review of risk at each step in the life cycle of a request from its inception through decommissioning. The approach facilitates early illumination of risks that require intervention and mitigation at a time when their impact and resolution cost, time, money, schedule, are their lowest.